Hello and welcome friends. Welcome to another exciting episode. This time for you, I have some uh, celluloid fountain pens made in uh, my country, made in Romania during the communist regime. Uh, all of them are rare, but two of them are quite, quite rare. And I will start with those. And after that, with a quite popular model from Flaro, Flamura Roșie Sibiu. And if you watch my channel, I know that you know the famous Flaro producer. Well, guys, I have for you this time a wonderful, wonderful collection of celluloids. And uh, I will uh, show each and every one of this beautiful, beautiful fountain pens. I uh, make this video right now during um, the afternoon because I want some natural light of the sun. It is important for, for the material celluloid to be shown in a powerful lighting to see the special, special, let's say, colors of it. I must tell you guys, celluloid is one of my favorite materials used for fountain pen bodies. Okay, guys, I will start with one of the rarest fountain pens in my collection. And, of course, I will give you a little zoom. Because in this video, I will show you the beautiful, beautiful material, the celluloid material. And this, guys, is a fountain pen made by IAT in the capital of my country, Bucharest. So, written on the barrel, thermically imprinted, is Bucharest and IAT. And on this particular model, I have also its original box. So, Bucharest. Yes, Industria Locală București IAT, Local Industry of Bucharest, some monogram here, and interesting, I like when I see some uh, signs of the original owners of the fountain pens, and I have here uh, signature and even a nicer thing the original price of this piece i don't know if you can see it but it is faded away it says 44 days and a sort of a stamp right here maybe in the sunlight no it is invisible Okay, guys, so this is the original box, and I'm quite proud of it because this, guys, this is a rare, rare thing. Think about it. When you find the fountain pen and you find this cardboard box, this fragile, fragile looking thing, I say this fountain pen is from the 1960s, so it survived the whole time but to see this cardboard box surviving the test of time this is a rare rare box and i'm proud to have it in my collection of course guys if you want to see the full review of this fountain pen i have a video i will leave its link at the end it's interesting that it is fitted with uh, iridium tipped tumble for nib you can see a little crack on the nib but a wonderful wonderful fountain pen this is a piston filler with a interesting interesting ink window I simply adore this model from my collection and look at the beautiful beautiful celluloid guys it's wonderful i will leave this aside 
And now let's move on to another rare, rare fountain pen, this time also in celluloid. And we are talking about the model Carpaccio, or if you want a translation in English, the Carpathians. It comes from the Carpathians Mountains, which are located in my country. This is a beautiful, beautiful celluloid. Unfortunately, you can see the metallic ring which was here. It is missing. But look at this beautiful, beautiful celluloid with green, with black, a nice, nice looking fountain pen. This has a beautiful, beautiful nib. This time, uh, German nib from Degusa, which has an iridium point. It is a steel nib. An interesting, interesting feed. A ink window and the same fake cap, which reveals the piston filler, similar to German models from the 1950s. Okay, guys, so those were the two rare, rare fountain pens that I wanted... Uh, to share with you guys and now I have a special special collection for you these are the beautiful beautiful this is the beautiful beautiful model from Flaro the Flaro 61C a superb model a celluloid model made by Flaro this is one of the most beautiful fountain pens ever made by Flaro. And I will start to show them to you. Let me put them like this. And sorry, let's start with this cap. Unfortunately, I don't have the matching barrel. But look at this beautiful, beautiful green celluloid with those black stripes it looks amazing those fountain pens were fitted with the metallic trims that you can see here of course they are nickel plated and in time you can see in these models they were affected by corrosion but this is a wonderful wonderful example you can see the matching jewel at the top of the cap which has the same pattern as the color of the cap I will leave this here okay and now let me show you the other fountain pens so let's start with a different different model with a different different pattern a beautiful beautiful pattern this is a rare rare pattern if the striped ones they are relatively can be found on the market and they show up from time to time this model is an elusive model and um, it has these jewels at the top this time a black jewel here but i'm sure it is original and this is one that matches in a way the pattern of the body you can see the pattern is simply wonderful with those squares and those lines. This is a wonderful, wonderful piece. I like the way that I can show it to you in this lighting of the sun. Of course, the cap on screws. This time we don't have an ink window. The Flaro made some production cuts by not fitting it with an ink window this is a shame but you will see because of the filling mechanism this model doesn't need a ink window this is a simple flaro steel nib gold plated and a rather crude feed made out of ebonite and i said to you that it doesn't need an ink window yes because this model has this integrated piston filler so it's quite simple you rotate it here and you can fill it up with ink it is a wonderful 
wonderful system or quite practical system and you will see that all the Flaro 61 seeds from my collection have that integrated ink converter now i want to give it a zoom because i want to show you the thermically imprinted Flaro as you can see Flaro 61c let's leave this model aside and now let's take the other model from here a beautiful beautiful model this time in another pattern and you can see the pattern of this one the flaro 61c imprint is visible the jewels on the top are this time black so they don't match the pattern of the fountain pen but because you can see black lines i think it is a good good match let me show you the nib of this model you can see better this is a flaro iridium 51 fk a steel nib gold plated and on the back the same familiar feed ebonite feed the barrel and screws and it shows this integrated ink converter it is integrated because you can't remove it from this part interesting the material they used so this is injected plastic and the other elements are made of injected plastic this is celluloid a wonderful wonderful example now guys let's move on to another model a striped model this time i have the same model twice but you can see the difference between them so you can see that the trims on the one from my left it is they are faded away and this is in a better shape but of course this lacks this uh, wide ring that ends the cap but quite wonderful and on this corroded one you can see that the jewel from the top of the cap is missing this is quite quite um common problems with those fountain pens they tend to lose their jewels but you can see this has the and the barrel jewel is in its place i will open them both because i want to show you their nibs so guys these are their nibs what is interesting is they are fitted with german nibs on uh, this one we have um let me show it without the sunlight if i can this is a degusa nib a steel nib gold plated with an iridium point this is a german nib and this is also a german nib that bear on two legs is a nib made in east germany and you know that east germany was a communist country and romania in that time the end of the 60s and the beginning of the 70s was also a communist country and between communist countries there were frequent commercial exchange so this is why they are fitted with german nibs on the back we can see the same type of ebonite feed and both of them are fitted with the same the same familiar mechanism and this one let me show it to you the same mechanism on this one you can see that it lacks that part that ending turning knob of the piston and the connection part from here so this is a common common problem with those fountain pens in a way they are easier to clean if you remove these parts but remember those were 
school found some pens intended for school people and for students and they often misplace the parts. The good thing is that the parts are inter-exchangeable. So I can remove those two parts and bring them to this part. And often when I find a bad shape fountain pen, I will buy it just to use those spare parts on better examples like these ones. Okay. I will put them aside and guys let's move on to the other one the other pattern and just for a comparison I have the previous pattern for you to see the differences between them so if the first one has a shade of blue a light blue this has a shade of light green so this is the difference Again, the some familiar trims that you can see on this model in a b better shape than others. The matching jewels, this time they are matching jewels. The inscription, let me see if I can show it to you. It is Flaro 61C, but it has faded away. Interesting the fact that they used on this grip section this plastic, this burgundy plastic. And again, another East German nib, a steel nib, and on the back, this ebonite feed. If I unscrew the barrel, we can see the same, the same filling mechanism, but this time it lacks this connection, this part that ensures the connection between the end of the piston and this plastic transparent barrel inner barrel okay let me close it now let's move on to the other model this time is one of my favorite models and this model reminds me of fountain pens made in italy so they were known as the communion fountain pens. So, you know, in Italy, they are Catholics. It's a Catholic country. And they have a ceremony for young uh, boys and girls. And they used to give them as a gift a uh, set that was formed from a fountain pen, usually in this ivory color, a matching ballpoint pen or a mechanical pencil in the same color, and of course, a rosary. So this is the beautiful, beautiful celluloid, as you can see, matching jewels, the same metallic trims. This is fitted, you will see, with a degusa nib, a wonderful degusa nib. You can recognize the degusa nib by that imprint over there, that diamond shape with half of the sun. This is a degusa nib, all right. And let me show you also the piston filler. You can notice on this beautiful model, the plastic is blue including the inner part there it is a wonderful wonderful little fountain pen and believe me guys a quite quite rare fountain pen this color is very very rare for this fountain pen let me move on to another fountain pen and uh, this celluloid reminds me of the previous Carpath's model, the Carpathians, and this is quite a rare fountain pen in its own. It has the matching jewel on the top of the cap and on the back of the barrel. The trim is slightly affected by the passing of the time. This is fitted, interesting, with an interesting nib. You might see imprinted on it flaro 
RPR iridium. So it has an iridium point. And look at the point. Whoa. I'm not so sure. Maybe it's broken. I have to test it. But moving on to RPR. RPR stands for um, the Popular Republic of Romania, which was the official name of Communist Romania between uh, the end of the 40s, I believe, and 1989, when the revolution took place and the communist regime was replaced by a democratic one. Okay, guys, now I have reached the last two ones. I'm sorry for the quality of the image. It is the sun that makes me problems. Now it's a better one. So now, yes, I have two beautiful, beautiful fountain pens. I will try to move from the sun. Okay. Because I want to show them to you. So you can see this um, gray pattern with a little bit of green. This smoky, smoky gray pattern. Interesting that this matches the body, but this, it is black. And the ending match the body. But if you look closely, this matches the body. But Flaro used the jewel a different different pattern for this pattern this pattern reminds me of the blue pattern that you saw previously so i believe guys that this isn't a replacement jewel but in fact the producer issued this fountain pen with this little flaw and remember my theory guys if you watch my channel i've always stated that the best models that Flaro produced were the were intended for export for the inner market they used even those fountain pens that were slightly not well well made now i will open this fountain pen to show you the nib and the nib is a iridium point but interesting written on it iridium point germany so they had some let's say suppliers from germany and now i will show you the other fountain pen let me see and i will give you a little zoom this is fitted with the flaro Iridium 51 FK original nib and if I show you yes this has an interesting interesting syringe type filler look at it so you can see it's definitely not a turning piston but it has this system and this is a rarity this is quite quite rare and I will try to open the other one to see if we have the same filling mechanism. So this over here we have, and you can see Flaro 61C on the barrel. And if we turn it around, no, this is a piston and look at it. It lacks that part, but if I You know, it is a piston filler. So interesting that syringe is quite, quite rare. Usually on the Flaro 61C, we have the piston, uh, the, the piston filler, the integrated ink converter. And now guys, the last one. I always thought that this pattern is different from that pattern, but I bought it as it is. You can see the different patterns. This has a matching 
matching jewel and this matches the body again flower 61 c this is the nib guys another the gusa nib as you can see and the filling mechanism whoa this has a little problems guys in the fact that you can see the grip section has that crack on it i'm not so sorry i can open this let me sorry let me show you so this is like this maybe i can open it like this i will certainly look into it so guys this was the presentation of some interesting interesting flower pens from my collection so you can see them right here in another angle they are quite quite nice fountain pens and the proud of the celluloid industry so those were made in the 1960s in the late 1960s and let's say middle of the 1970s because after that they were replaced by plain looking fountain pens but you have to love them as uh, they are they are wonderful wonderful and this is my favorite favorite material i always said that it is a shame that they don't produce celluloid models anymore so celluloid it's my favorite favorite material i recently reviewed the chinese fountain pen and i thought it was made from celluloid because it had beautiful beautiful colors but it it turned out to be an acrylic and um, some of my viewers commented and said that they don't produce celluloid anymore because it is bad for the environment so i guess that the industrial procedure of this type of plastic causes harm to the environment and you can see a beautiful beautiful material but in the way that i don't approve the use of ivory i think that we did a good thing to lose this material of course in the 1960s and the beginning of the 1970s it was all a economic reason they weren't quite environmentally aware back in those days but i think that injected plastic was way much cheaper to produce but of course the plastic doesn't give these beautiful beautiful shades to the colors so guys this was my review of celluloid made romanian fountain pens those fountain pens are quite rare even if you buy them internally from my country they rarely appear on sites and uh, usually when i find one in a decent shape i buy it but uh, being a rare fountain pen being a beautiful fountain pen they often demand for it astronomical prices so i have to negotiate or i have to tell them look i'm a collector and i've been searching this fountain pen for a long long time sometimes they understand me and i can negotiate the price but uh, other times they are quite firm on the price so you know me if i can't negotiate a price i better invest in other beautiful beautiful writing instruments and as a rule guys if you have a rare piece an old piece it doesn't mean it it's a real price should be uh, high no often enough they were mass produced but um, in the end 
even an old pen is a util utilitarian product. So it has to write. It has to write good. It has to have a reliable filling mechanism. And uh, most of these old, old fountain pens, they have the these plastic parts and the plastic tends to crack. But even the celluloid, it is a quite vulnerable, vulnerable material to the heat, to the way, to the humidity. So it depends where you deposit them. So guys, celluloid is a wonderful, wonderful material, but uh, quite, quite fragile material. You have to take care of your fountain pens. Thank you for your time, guys. This was my presentation of celluloids fountain pens made in communist romania i hope you've enjoyed it wherever you are have a wonderful day guys please stay safe in this pandemic times i will see you again at the next episode till then bye bye and god bless